Hey, 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 everyone. Welcome to the Phoenix Rise podcast. So glad to have you back with us. If you're new here, welcome to the tribe. This is the place where we talk all things spirituality, mindset and business. Yes, I know. And business. Who knew that you've got to have it all? I did. <laughs> and you know why? Because you're worthy of it, babe. There's no sacrifice needed over here. You get the best of every world that you want to be in. 3D and 5D. Spirituality and success. Ambition and awakening. That is how we roll. <laughs> so today we are on day two of my six-day mini-series, which is all about the visionary framework methodology, uh, which is the structure that we've kind of been inspired by for our Elevate Masterminds. So this is like the underlying structure that we are then amplifying because obviously you've got um, my co-host Jane as well. So we're going to be ramping this up a whole nother level to our Elevate methodology. But this is the underlying bones that kind of pin it underneath. So we're going through this methodology um, bit by bit, breaking it down as to what you can expect to experience right in the elevate mastermind and if you're not joining us in the mastermind this is just stuff that i teach anyway in every part of my world whether it's in live events that i'm creating whether it's in live master classes whether it's through masterminds whether it's high level coaching whatever world it is that you're in of my orbit this is the underlying structure that underpins everything that i do everything that i teach everything that i'm about so with that being said it's meant to be short and sweet. <laughs> you know, you know me, I can talk, I can talk. Um, so I'm going to try and keep it down to about 10 minutes. We'll see how we go. But this is just really to give you some kind of short, sharp tips as to what you can expect. And also to understand a little bit more about my teachings, right? What I stand for, what I'm about, and how I actually help people. Because it's always good to know, right? <laughs> so day two, we have got our methodology two, which is one of my favorites. It is the AA method. Now, we're not talking addictions here, although I have had my fair share of experience in that in the past. <laughs> we are talking authenticity, and alignment. This is what my AA method is all about. And this is so important because without this, everything that you do in your business is going to feel against the grain. It's going to feel like you're going against the current. It's going to feel like you're pushing, like you're forcing, like you're having to make things happen. And this is all about stepping into the flow, stepping into the ease, stepping into your timeline which is the smoothest path, right? The easiest path to walk on. And <laughs> I'm always very careful with the word easy. Because when I say easy, I don't mean like everything is easy. But what I mean is everything is in flow. Everything is in a sense of ease. It's like you don't have to force. You don't have to push. You don't have to be in your masculine all the time. You get to just kind of sit back and enjoy the ride. And that doesn't mean that we don't take action. It doesn't mean that we don't be proactive, that we don't put ourselves out there. But it means that everything is happening for us. Everything is being put in front of us. And it's our job to step up to the plate and to say yes when those opportunities arise, to put ourselves out there, when we see something that we know lights us up, when something is put in our path that we know is in alignment with where we want to get to, with what we're here to do, with our purpose then it's our job as the vessel, right, as the human vessel that we are in this world to say yes, to take that scary action. So the AA method, authenticity and alignment. Let's just dive into each of these a little bit more and really understand what they mean. Because again, I feel like they're kind of buzzwords at the moment, especially authenticity. I cannot tell you the amount of authenticity coaches that I know at the moment. It's like, it's such a buzzword because it's so important. It's so important. And I just want to give you an example, okay, of being authentic in your business. So who are you behind the closed door? Do you show up the same on camera as you do off camera? Do you dress the same? Do you speak the same? Do you look the same? Do you talk the same? Do you walk the same? You know, all that kind of stuff. Or are you putting on a facade? Are you kind of trying to portray yourself as who you think you should be? 
or the version of you that people will respect and take seriously, right? Or are you letting it all hang out? Are you being truly 100% authentically you? And I'm going to give you an example in my life. So for those of you on my journey, you you will know this story. Um, I've spoken about it before. So I never used to swear. Okay. It was like a massive, it, it, it was a kind of, um, I don't know if I wouldn't say trauma, but it was like a thing from my upbringing. And I, anyway, I had a huge like throat chakra block just in general. Okay. It was very hard for me to express myself how I actually wanted to express myself. I couldn't get the words out. They would come out jumbled up. It, like, I couldn't get out what was up here or even in here out here it was like it just didn't ever sound how i wanted it to sound or what made sense to me and so i went through this whole healing process of my throat chakra earlier this year um yes my crystals helped me (laughs) um and i alchemized it and i literally started dropping swear words in all of my content from the girl that never even used to say like shit right I, I would always be like oh poop. <laughs> like honestly that's like that is who I was and I do still like I do still have those funny moments and you do not have to be a swearer right this is not the point here the po- get the story from what I like get the message from the story so anyway so I started dropping in swear words and oh my god the sense of liberation for me it was like oh, it was like, I'm finally free. I finally don't give a fuck anymore what people think, right? Yes, I lost some followers. Did I care? No. You know why? Because they weren't my tribe. They were aligned with someone who wasn't really real. So they actually made space for the real tribe who were magnetized to the real me. And I just want to dive a, even a little bit deeper into this. Okay. So my first business that um, I have three businesses now. So the, the one that I first started with, which was my corporate business, when I was in that corporate world, and that's all I did, I felt like I had to look a certain way, talk a certain way, act a certain way, I had to watch what I said, watch my words, didn't want to sound too common, um, you know, didn't want to come across as too uh, girly even, didn't want to be seen as someone who didn't know her stuff, someone who shouldn't be respected, someone who didn't have an authority or a presence. And so... I put on a different persona, right? That that corporate Claire had a different personality, a different identity, a different way of being, which some of it was me, but it wasn't fully me. And I felt that. I felt caged. And I felt like I had to second guess everything that I said. I felt like I was always watching what I was saying. Oh, can I say that? Oh, can I put that in that email? Oh, you know, can I talk like that on the phone? Very, very in your head all the time, second guessing. And this is when you know that you're not being truly authentic, right? When you're constantly having that narrative. Oh, can I say that? Oh, is that too much? Oh, is that going to put them off? Does that come? Is that too harsh? Like, are they not going to take me seriously if I say the F word or like all of these things? All of these things are a sign that you are not in your true authenticality. Is that a word? Yeah. (laughs) Authenticality, right? Authenticity. I don't know, whichever way it is. But like you're not being truly you. You're still holding some of it back because you're scared of judgment. You're scared of not being taken seriously. You're scared of what other people are going to think. So this is what we mean by authenticity. Okay. And now alignment. Alignment is a big one because, again, in my corporate business, I was not in alignment. I was doing what I thought I could do for a start. It was a world that I was already in and I knew I wanted to be an entrepreneur, but I had no idea what to do. Right. I didn't even know like having a purpose was a thing at the time. Wasn't even on my radar, like not in the slightest. Wasn't even a question that I knew I could ask. And so... I just got to a point where I was like, okay, maybe I should just do this. 
at least it gets me into the entrepreneurial world. I get to be my own boss. I get to forge my own path. I get to like create my own rules, right? That's what my life was all about, wanting that control over how much I could grow, you know, how much money I could make, how much impact I could make, who I could become in the world and the impact that I could create whilst I'm here. So I was not in alignment and I felt that because no matter how much money I earn, even when I started the crystal business, right? And yes, that was more in alignment with my spiritual awakening when I had that, but I still wasn't in my purpose. And even when I had my most successful year of 350K, that's like, that's that's been my, my max, right? So far, I'm not on the seven figures yet, yet, yet. <laughs> it won't be long. Um, but even when I was bringing in that much money, I felt a void. I felt a yearning for something more. I felt a hole, an emptiness. It was not filling up my soul. It was like, there's something missing here. I'm meant to be doing something more. It was never easy, right? It was always like the hustle culture, always the hustle, grind, burnout, hustle, grind, burnout, both of those businesses. That's what I built them on, hustle, grind, burnout. And they built very successfully, both multiple six figures, but it was not without sacrifice. And so when I realized that actually I'm here for a reason and I'm here for a purpose, and this is what I'm being called to do, right? I'm being called to be a speaker. I'm being called to create more, to create more impact to multiple lives. I'm here to help more, spread myself wider, stretch myself bigger. That's what I'm here for. That was my purpose. That is what is in alignment. And when I stepped into that, oh, did it change? Because then there's no more, there's no more creative block, right? Oh, what do I post today? It's like, I can't create the content quick enough. <laughs> as like the downloads come, like my draft is just full of ideas <laughs> because as downloads come, I'm like, I can't, I can't keep up. I can't keep up with all this stuff that's dripping in because creativity runs for you. It flows for you and it wants to express through you. That's when you know you're in alignment, when you are just constantly like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. You can't stop it because the universe is using you as a vessel to express itself through. That's what being an entrepreneur in alignment is all about. The universe being able to utilize you. That's what we're here for, right? So the universe can express and create through us. And so when you're in alignment, there's no creative block. There's no force. There's still strategy. There's still, you know, um, like framework and methodologies and things that will work better than others. But you're not constantly feeling like you're having to like push a massive weight in front of you to make it happen. It's a different mindset. It's a mindset of... No matter what happens, I am literally living my best life. I'm doing what I'm meant to do. The abundance will be a byproduct of that. But for now, I am just happy creating the impact that I'm making, planting the seeds that I'm planting, helping the people that I'm helping, and just living my best life, right? That's what being in alignment is about. It's not the force. It's not the push. It's not the constant masculine energy. It's the ease, the attraction, the allowance, the flow. That is when you know that you're in alignment. When you are just like, there is no, I mean, one of my favorite phrases is fuck balance. Fuck balance. Literally, Balance is like one of the worst pieces of advice you could ever have, because if you are striving for balance, it means that something is more important than the other. But if you are in alignment, if you're living your purpose, that is your life, right? You are in your life's work. There is no separation between your life and your business. It is all one and the same because you are just literally living your best life. That's it. It's harmony. Harmony is what you get 
to create what you get to experience when you are in alignment. So I don't know how long I went for. I'm sure it's more than 10 minutes. <laughs> but this is the AA methodology. Okay. So this is part of my visionary framework. This is part of what we will be teaching in the Elevate Mastermind. And that is going to be amplified even more because you have not just me but you also have jane with her amazing mindset skills she is such a badass at mindset work like she is going to be able to get you to see in yourself what you can't see in yourself to get rid of those blocks that are holding you back to help you start to see what is possible for you and I'm all about the action, right? I'm like, let's take the motherfucking action. Let's do it together. Let's do it scared. And let's make shit happen. This is why we're such a powerful combo. So when you get in the room with both of us and another group of high vibe, badass boss bitch women who are here for more, right? They're here for more. They're not here for mediocre. We don't attract that into our orbits. They are here for magnificence. They are here for legacy. These are the vibes in our space. So if that sounds like you, get yourself over to us now. The enrollment ends on the 31st of January. So it's like, what is it? It's the 5th of January now. So you've got a few weeks. We're only taking applications just to make sure that everyone is the right fit, right? Because we are precious about our energy and who we allow into our space, just as you should be with yours. So we want to make sure that it's a right fit for everyone, for you, for us, and for the rest of the group of people who are coming in as well. So you can trust that when you get in that room, it is going to be shit hot. <laughs> it's going to be the dog's bollocks. <laughs> right. Okay. So I've fully digressed from the AA method, but that is um, a little... A little kind of tidbit about what it is, how it works, how it's going to help you, how it's going to move you, how it's going to grow you, how it's going to scale you, how it is going to elevate you. So until next time, I will see you tomorrow for day three and I will see you all soon.